Hi guys, Gunship here, and let's play some more Skyrim on Legendary. Um, better off. Okay, are these those, those cultists that attacked me ages ago? They're still littering the streets. Um, so yeah, we're here in Iverstead, and um, we're here to do another... What? Josh. <laughs> we're here to do another one of the um, Forbidden Legends uh, dungeons. It's actually located on that island over there. So uh, let's get over there and hopefully get it done this episode if we can. Uh, iron? No. I'm going to resist. I'm going to be good. <laughs> so the last episode we did quite a lot of trading in and around Riften. So the ha um, we've got our weight down to a respectable 100 and something now, which is good. And hopefully at the end of this dungeon we're going to get another part of the amulet. Uh, but we're also going to get a enchanted bow called, uh, I think it's the Black Bow. But for now, let's get in there and see how it goes. This is quite a nice little dungeon, actually. So, uh, just for a bit of a change, I figure I might as well. Yeah. So we're going to deal with some skeevers, first of all. Uh, it's been ages since I've actually used uh, a dagger. So. You know, might as well do a little bit of work on one handed just for a change because skeevers aren't too big of a problem. Like he says. Uh, whoa! Oh, two hits and it's down. And some as well. Ah, lined up perfectly. So yeah, I gotta admit, I love uh, Meryn's Razor. I think I might at some point, if I can, if I remember, um, start being a bit more stealthy and see if we can get some uh, executions going. The animation is pretty cool actually when you slit someone's throat. So, there you go. This is the book you need to trigger the Forbidden Legends quest line. It's called Lost Legends. You will find them pretty much all over Skyrim now. Without looking too far for them. Although that adventure must have been a bit of a noob if you can't handle two skeevers. <laughs> Hopefully, we're going to get a bit further into the dungeon than he did. I see there's quite a lot of um, mushrooms of all types here as well, which is quite useful. Actually, fly am eaten. Where we're going is basically down this big hole. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, see how this goes. Whoops. Some. Come on. Come on. I want to get that. There we go. Okay. So first things first, uh, we're going in here, then we're going to uh, come up against some frost spiders as soon as we open that door there. So I'm not going to take on frost spiders with uh, <laughs> this. I might use the glass arrows for now though, as well, just to use them up. And then we'll go back to the ebony ones. And uh, it's just I'm just checking just to make sure everything's in order. Unrelenting force, that's good. I did remember to pick up some fortified um, marksman potions as well. Didn't want to take one though. <laughs> I wanted to favour it, but anyway, whatever. Uh, this is going well so far. And there is actually, yeah, uh, there is a cave we can go down. Oops. Take that. Really want this great sword. What have we got? Uh, Okay. That's why water breathing, just in case. But we should be okay. Ooh, just about. Uh, is there anything else down over here? I can't remember. Yeah, what was that? Felt like a trap. Okay, let's do this. Hello, spider. <laughs> Didn't really have a chance, did they? She's good. I even got my arrow back. Finally, I thought I'd never get that damn door open. Um, <laughs> Got after it, and it wasn't even worth it at all. 
dumbass. I am. Another thing I must admit, it would be nice if. Um, okay, we've got some sort of trap here, which I can't remember which one it is, so. I see you there. Okay, let's see what's in this chest. And not really worth it. Those there. Okay, it was a uh, poison dart trap, I think. Okay, fair enough, let's carry on. Okay, now this bit is kind of a bit annoying, this uh, puzzle, but I'll show you that in a, in a minute. First things first, though, we need to clear the place out. See how my glass arrows do against Draugr, because obviously the place is full of them. They're all playing possum until you get too close, but it's quite easy to spot them. Again, you just check for armour on the bodies. Like that dude there. I think I may have to switch back to the ebony arrows. Hello. We're also home. Any more? Okay, we're clear, I think. <laughs> okay. Oops. Uh, let's see. There he is. I'll check. Get my arrows back. Oh. Gimme, gimme. Thank you. Yeah, obviously we've got um, quite a few symbols that we need to activate so that we can progress. And it's not too bad actually, the first time you think about it, all you do is you look down and oh, the ones on the right, on the left hand side uh, are the switches on the left hand side that you have to put and the ones on the right hand side respond to the two pillars are on the right hand side of this little area so for example that first one's a bird so this one down here needs to be a bird okay next one's a fish so what we need to do now is just run around until we see this one here it has to be oops. there we go is it a whale we're going already yep okay and then here, this time, we need another whale and a snake at the end. So the first one's a whale, which is already done. Oops. Okay, and then this one here is a snake. Hopefully, I didn't mess it up. Excellent. And on we go. It took me quite a while to work that out because I was trying to be a bit too clever for myself, I think. Uh, and in the end, I just realised, oh, right, okay. <laughs> Hear Draugr. I see Draugr. Can I kill Draugr? No, because Draugr keeps moving. He's got some friends up there as well, yeah. Oops. Go check out the sound. Yeah, glass arrows aren't really cutting it against Draugr. <laughs> Next! That was quite impressive though. Uh, ah yeah, okay, the other one's a Death Lord and he's up there. So you've got to be careful with him because he can one-shot you. So I think I will actually upgrade my arrows again. It's just not worth it. This guy can actually snipe you from... He's like literally on this tower in the middle. And if he hits you, he does quite a lot of damage. Um, 
don't think you can take you out in one hit, but in about two hits you're dead. On well, legendary that is. So I'm gonna have to be careful of him. For now though I'm just uh, doing the standard. Grab everything I can. The problem with me when I have um quite a lot of weight allowance, <laughs> it's when I just start picking up crap. <laughs> I'm gonna start controlling myself. I just can't, I keep forgetting. Um nicely piled up there. Frenzy potion. Just to make the frenzy attack is quite fun when you can like get bad guys to start attacking each other for no reason. Uh, um, I've got to be careful, like I say. There he is. Now he is an archer as well. I'm gonna try and do this without any potions if I can. Stupid enough not to move, which is good. <laughs> I kind of flops back and forth with each arrow hit. One more. Haha. <laughs> you got pound. And uh, what did he have on him? Bone meal, ebony arrow, and an ebony bow. Excellent. So this guy would have really done some serious damage had he hit me. Um, but luckily I remembered where he was, so not too much of a problem. Because once you get to about here, uh, that's pretty much when he'll start attacking you. I've got here. Okay, this is the Archmage who the brothers murdered and stole his amulet. And, oop, let's read this. Lord Gerrimund, Archmage of Windhelm, Lord Battlemage to King Harold. Uh, Magus, keep thy vigil internal. Serve now in death as you did in life. By the seals our realm preserve from traitors the three and their charm of strife. So obviously that refers to the three brothers who uh, basically blew to, murdered him and took his amulet, the poor guy. Um, and even in death, you know, he's, he's <laughs> he doesn't get to rest. Oh, hello. Did you come from the Enterprise? Whoa, hello. Anyone else gonna magically warp in? <laughs> Never seen that before, it just suddenly randomly emerged from nowhere. Mm, am I no I can't be bothered. I'm not gonna do any enchanting. On my next playthrough I will probably be doing more enchanting on the fly. You know, as soon as I see a table rather than sort of grinding my way through it. Because it's kinda of boring. It takes a lot longer that way as well. Yep. That's where we're going, that's where the boss battle takes place. So we're quite close, hopefully. We're doing time about 14 minute mark. Yeah, we should hopefully be able to wrap this up in an episode, I think. Check in if any decent loot. I mean, someone said as well that you could use like candlelight and uh, mage light as well to light up the areas. I mean, I do always have a torch on board as well, uh, which again is a throwback to playing Oblivion. But to be honest, like I say, I just, I just keep forgetting these things, to be honest. Uh, I mean, I can see on screen pretty much, so... Oh, Got paralysed. <laughs> Strips, dwarven bow, why not? Again, we've got a spike trap. Um, it's quite a nasty one. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Ebony. Because you'd think it's that lever, but that lever will actually set the spike trap off. Uh, what they've done is they've actually hidden lever in one of these corners. I can never remember which one, though. It's around here somewhere, because it took me forever to find it. There it is. They're quite sneaky, really. Hiding away the drawbridge. Let's say do that. So, uh, so far so good. And hello. Bye. <laughs> They're just kind of standing there going, Hey, what's going to happen? Wait for that uh, drawbridge to come down.
Seems like a pretty pointless area. I noticed it before though. I wonder if there might be some sort of you. Thank you as well. No. Okay, so we're going to have to get past another Indiana Jones style trap, so Whirlwind Sprint is on. Pretty easy. Oh, yeah, we killed this guy, didn't we? <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. go. Uh, quite a few ways of doing this. Uh, I tend to like to go to that little platform over there, uh, personal preference, but no kind of right or wrong way of doing it. Set him off. Come on. There we go. What this guy does is he tries to trick you and um, he kind of warps in and out of the place. He has two copies of himself. All you need to do is look for the guy with the horns. That's the real one. The other two are fake. Um, but if you just check the helmets. Uh, yeah, that guy there. Back to me. Perfect. It's not too difficult. Yeah, this time around. There he is. Okay, so that was that. Let's quickly go claim our reward. Man, where'd his body go? So, that's what we want. That's the amulet fragment. We'll take that. And gold. That. There's another rate of sealing. Again, the same deal again. Uh, be bound here, Sigjis, murderer, betrayer, condemned by your crimes against realm and lord. May your name and your deeds be forgetting, forgotten forever, and the charm which you bear be sealed by our ward. So same deal as the other guy. Uh, we'll take that. Ebony arrows, that one. And here it is, the Golder Black Bow. Absorbs 20 points of magicka. Uh, so with the two now, you can actually absorb uh, health and magicka. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I think. Um, nothing left to do, really. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Just through here. One of these long winding kind of tables. There's a chest. Let's quickly see what we get. A lot of scrolls. Nice. And what have we got here? Some glass gauntlets. What's that? Dragon scale helmet. Thank you. Very kind. To be honest, I'm going to try and um, fashion my own, so I'm not going to do much with that. Is that a skill book? Yeah, it is. So yeah, not a bad little haul. Let's carry on down here, and we can call it an episode, I think. So hopefully this should lead back to the cave, I think, where we first started. Is this the way? Yeah. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to leave it here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Like I say, that was the... Um, the Forbidden Legend questline. We can't really do the last bit uh, in Sarthol just yet because we have to be part of the Mages Guild to do it. Uh, so coming up on the next episode we're going to go visit our good friends in the Dark Brotherhood and see what they have in store for us. For now though guys, as always, thanks for watching, take care and peace. <laughs>